but now they do because they know me and now they are my regular customers and they order from me year round. Um, and we all know that through asking questions uh, with individuals, we are able to connect with them. So now they have more of a connection with me. And so this year, I sent out an email when I had earned the grease strip to, uh, for them to come by and see me. I had something special for them uh, for earning the grease strip. Um, they came by my booth, booth to congratulate me, and in return, I gave them a gift as well. And I've just been able to establish a good relationship with a lot of local people through that. Okay. Thank you, Martha. Anyone online? probably speak to that. I do a lot of my business online, both uh, with my customers, my hosts, and my recruiting. Um, I've been on Facebook for about five years now, and for four of those years, I predominantly play games and sat on my rear end. At the same token, or at the same time, making friends, close friends, throughout the entire world. And uh, I do those that want to be hosts, I send them those packets in the mail and get them a little event going on Facebook. Um, and if they want to learn more about the business, I will Skype with them. So I do a lot of interaction like that. Skyping with my Australians has been absolutely wonderful uh, because I can actually sit there with them face to face and feel like I'm you know, having a cup of coffee with them or, or whatever and watching their kids and everything is absolutely wonderful. And um, it's, it's just opened up a different avenue for me because I don't know a lot of local people in my area. Uh, so I don't, I love my home parties. I love them to pieces. I do a pretty great, awesome home party. But I just don't get a lot of them in my area. So I rely heavily on online business through customers hosting and recruiting. It's pretty awesome. Thank you, Lori. So Mark. I'm a fairly new consultant who's already contacted my immediate list of friends and family. What's the best advice you can give me on how to grow my business beyond this search of contacts? I tell people to find a common denominator with every single person that you come in contact with. Find something that you can build a relationship with and establish a lifelong friendship because through lifelong friendships, some people may not join your team now, but they probably will someday once they see you're successful. And I've, now I've been since 2011, and just in the last couple months, I've had a couple people where that has happened uh, to me through having just a friendship with them. Um, also, I just I tell, continually tell them, leave some temples everywhere you go. Leave a trail of scents everywhere you go. Gas stations, restaurants. We now have a lady on our team that's known as the Chick-fil-A lady. I left a scent sample in the bathroom at Chick-fil-A, and I went down in line. I was standing there in line, and all of a sudden, this lady comes running out of the bathroom. She's like, you're Martha Murray, really loud. The whole restaurant heard it, and I'm like, oh my word, no. <laughs> but my picture's on my business card, so um, she's, and she says, I have been looking and looking for a scentsy lady. I just recently moved to the area, and she goes, I want to book a party. Well, that turned into a new consultant. So just leave a, leave a scent everywhere you go. Alright, this question is going out to Allison and Jack. Um, this is a little bit following up on Orville and Heidi's breakout session that they did. Both of your husbands are not only supportive, but very actively involved in developing your businesses. What is one piece of advice that you would give to consultants interested in having their spouses or partners more actively engaged in their business? So, um, we have been honored and blessed to both have spouses that support us, encourage us, and are vital parts of our business. Um, neither one of us can say that we can do this without them. Not to the level that we do, and so we're incredibly grateful for that. But, you know, I think the more that they see you treat this as a real business, the more they see you actually set goals and achieve them, the more they start to trust that this is actually a real thing. This can be a very um, successful thing for our family. And, um, bringing them to things like this, I think, is what helps them understand more of what Heidi's heart. It's what helps them to see the vision of Cincy. And what was the end of the question? What advice would you give the consultants who would like to have their spouses or partners more actively engaged? So Jacqueline would like to speak about that. It's <laughs> <laughs> family guys. They grow something you finish. You know, which is why they uh, Yes, yeah. Um, I would say I got my husband to come to a convention in 09, Shine in 09, and that
that completely changed his perspective. But I, I got him there because I said, there's going to be a lot of guys. And probably go get to the bar, go to, you know, eat or drink. You don't have to come to everything. Well, I bought him a ticket. So I was like, I'm going to get him to come. And then I told him, you can't leave until we get all the product. You have to come. So then I lured him in. And we had great speakers. And why, and why couldn't you leave? What, what was it? Why couldn't you leave until you got product? Well, because we, I told him you have to stay in the session so we can get all the product. You can't leave because I just <laughs> found out you have to stay the whole time to actually get the product. And um, so I kind of lured him in, and then it worked. He got to see the heart of the company. He got to see, I had talked about Cincy so much, and when he experienced it for himself, that was kind of a game changer. And we're very competitive by nature, every family event turns into uh, competition every. We play space at Thanksgiving, we each make each other cry, we, it's the hardcore. But um, so when the Hawaii trip came out, my husband said, you're earning that. I said, no, we are earning that. Right. And you know, from then on, he's been so supportive. But get him to a sense, get him to a reunion next year, persuade him with however you need to, I'll leave that to you. But get him here and since um, will, since magic will happen and he will want to come back. Mark, can I say something about the family aspect of this very quickly? Yep. So a lot of people, when they find out that my sister-in-law is a superstar director, my mom's a star director, my mother-in-law is a director, my other sister-in-law is a superstar director, my other sister was sitting right there. Where did she go? She's a Cincy consultant. She left. <laughs> but when people find out that our entire family is a part of this Cincy family, they always are like, how do you do that? And you know, when I tell a new consultant when they sign up, it doesn't even matter who's on your list of 100 because those people will not sustain your business. It's the people that they know and the people that they know and the people that they know. So don't ever not offer the opportunity to a family member because you think, well, then who would I sell to if I can't sell to my family? It's the beauty of this business is that it's changed our family. It's changed our lives. Um, it's changed everything about our family dynamic. If I had never said that to Jacqueline, hey, you'd be great at this, um, we wouldn't have this. And so don't ever hold that back from somebody, that blessing. Um, there will always be more people to sell to. You just have to go find them. All right. Thank you very much. All right. We've got a couple minutes left. Let's go back into rapid fire mode. So let's start with you, Carol, for this one, and we'll just work our way down. What is the one single piece of advice that you wish someone had told you when you began your sense of journey? Um, Carol, did I say we're in rapid fire mode? Yes. Oh, that it's never too early to start. Um, I waited, I practiced as a consultant for eight months. Kind of wish I would have just worked it when I started. <laughs> but it's okay, because you can start at any time. And and finally, to make it a decision to be your business. Yeah. Um, I wish somebody had told me that this was going to be harder than I thought it was, and that um, all I had to do was make a decision every day to try. That's really the key to it, make a decision to try. Every single day you decide this is what you want. I think that I wish I would have known that um, it's never too early to recruit. When you first join, that's actually the best time to get your friends on board with you, because your enthusiasm and your passion is just Amazing. So it's never too early to recruit. Start day one, maybe even before you're thinking about signing up. Get people on board with you. Okay, so this is a hard question because you gave us the sheet, so we might not be totally surprised. And I had a great sponsor, and I had the 80 Mitchell, Nicole Berth, and the Diane So I guess the advice that I would give to you is because I felt like I got all the help I needed was that um, approach whoever you think is doing what you want. Go and approach them. Be friends with them and let them teach you the way I was blessed by so many of you guys to, to help me. Mine, I actually spoke about in my breakout session yesterday, but it is to recruit and sponsor the most successful people you meet. Fill your team with successful business-like, business-minded people, the people who already know how to build a fantastic business. Um, I would say if something's not working, you need to tweak it.